In this video, we'll find the percent composition for each element here in C6H12O6. This is the formula for glucose. So the first thing we need to do is figure out the molar mass for the entire compound. When we do that, we get 180.18 in the units, grams per mole. So we know the molar mass for the compound. Now we're gonna look at the molar mass for the element, we'll multiply that by the number of the element, and then divide by the molar mass for the whole compound. Let's do that for each element here. For the carbon, we have 12.01, that's the atomic mass for the carbon from the periodic table. Units are grams per mole. And then we're gonna multiply that by six, since we have six here. That's the number of the element. So when we multiply this by six, we'll then divide the whole thing by the mass of the compound, the 180.18. We multiply it by 100, and you'll note we have grams per mole on top and bottom, and we end up getting 40.00%. So if you had glucose here, and you looked at the entire mass, 40% of the mass, that would be the carbon atoms. Let's do this for the hydrogen. So for hydrogen, on the periodic table, 1.01 grams per mole. I'm not going to write it since it cancels out. We have 12 hydrogen. So we're taking the molar mass, that 1.01 .01, times the number of the element, the 12. Divide that by the molar mass for the compound, 180.18. Multiply by 100, and we end up with 6.73%. Let's do the oxygen. For the oxygen, on the periodic table, 16.00 grams per mole we have six oxygen. So we take the molar mass of the oxygen times the number of oxygen atoms, six, divide by the molar mass for the compound, multiply by 100, and we get 53.28%. So these numbers should add up to close to 100%. In this case, it's not exactly 100%, and that's because my periodic table rounds to two decimal points. So sometimes there's a little difference. This is only off 0.01 or 0.02% though. So that's how you find the percent composition by mass for C6H12O6. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.